All right, well, I'm getting there with the little inverter, the French uh, flip-flop inverter, we're calling it. And there it is on the board. And I worked on that today, and it's it's coming together. And it runs the light. And this is part of the demonstration everybody's doing, is it also runs a radio. It'll charge your cell phone. Uh, it'll charge up my notebook computer on the 110 uh, adapter. And I'm using a quarter of an amp on a 12-volt battery. Now this light is dim here. I can turn it up with my little rheostat that I'm using here. Amp draw is going up. About half an amp I think is as much as I want to push this. But that's bright folks. And uh, I'm going to make some kind of a plug thing here for when I box it all up so I can plug stuff into it. And uh, this will be a real good thing to have around. So, um, you know, I'll plug this so you see that it's not running on batteries. And there goes the bright light back up. See, I was using power doing that. Now I'm back to less than a quarter of an amp. But, the, yeah, this, is, this uh, little... Uh, I'm calling it the French flip-flop inverter, and it probably offends a lot of people, and I'm sorry, but it seems to stick. But uh, that is a real winner, and the best part about it, these things don't get hot. These MOSFETs, I had heat sinks on them, but you don't even need them. They don't even get hot. Transformer gets a little warm, and this rheostat here gets warm. I'm going to have to get a higher uh, wattage rheostat. But man, when I crank that rheostat up, this just gets blindingly bright to the point where if you look at it, you'll get spots in your eyes. And that's at uh, half an amp on a 12-volt battery. So anyway, I'm real, uh, real happy with this. I'm using this uh, Radio Shack transformer. It's a 606 on the primaries and then the 12 volt on the secondaries the way I'm running this here uh, of course it normally runs with uh, the 120 coming into it and then uh, 606 on the other side so I'm just running it backwards but this little inverter circuit uh, I know it's common and uh, I've had several people comment that this is nothing new it's been around forever and other people have used it for other things but I personally have never seen it done like this and with the LED bulbs and with the outlet attached to it so that you can plug in radios or whatever you want to it and uh, to me um, having something that runs at that kind of an amperage with a light on um, and still be able to run something else is a real advantage and and on the boat and even here at the house during power outages this is going to be something I'm going to use Anyway, that's the latest. Thanks for watching.